it's Doug Winter with another patch of the week. Last week I showed you how to use a sequencer to do pulse and pitch division. I'm going to extend that concept out a little bit this week and show you how to add the ability to create complex waveforms to that. So this is what we were doing last time. And uh, if you didn't see that video, go check it out. You can find it on YouTube or on my website, neatnetnoise.com. But here we have a sequencer doing subharmonic divisions of a master oscillator. That was last week. This week, we're going to take the output from the voltage output of a row of the programmer. Eight steps. Now, it's important that you realize that I have my sequencers and programmers wired to each other behind the panel. It doesn't take away any of the patching uh, options. It just adds the opportunity to do this without all the patch cords there. Um, so we're hearing only the first stage of the programmer now. What happens when we bring in other stages? Well, it brings in different parts of the harmonic series. That's a lot of control over the wave shape. It's an amazing amount of control over the wave shape. And so there you have it, another patch of the week, a way to make complex waveforms with the voltage output of a sequencer or programmer. Patch of the Week.